in this lesson, we are going to be factoring polynomials. And we're going to be dealing with special types of polynomials. We are going to be dealing with difference of two squares and perfect square trinomials. We have done trinomials uh, in the past where we have three terms and we do the double parenthesis to be able to factor. So factors of x squared will give us x and x. Factors of 16 will give us 8 times 2. If you multiply together, you should end up with 10x in the middle term. The difference of two squares is when we have a square, x squared is a square, and 16 is 4 squared. 4 times 4 is 16. So factors of x squared is an x and an x. Factors of 16 will be 4 and 4. And it's the difference because we have a minus in between. So it will be 1 negative and 1 positive. And we also have perfect square trinomials. This is a perfect square trinomial because once we square, once we factor it, they both are the same. So we can rewrite it as x plus 4 squared. Now, before we actually factor, we will factor as a trinomial, difference of two squares, or perfect square trinomial, we'll have to take out the greatest common factor. We're going to have to factor it out. So let's go and start with problem number one. On problem number one, there's no greatest common factor or, on any of them. So it'll be just straight factoring. It says, factor the following polynomials, then give the appropriate name. I'm going to factor it out. Double parenthesis. Factors of x squared will give me x and x. Factors of positive 25 should be 5 and 5. And this is a positive, therefore they both should have the same sign. Once I multiply it out, it will need to add up to a positive 10. Therefore, both of them should be a positive. Now, you can check your answer by multiplying it out. Or we can just check the outside numbers. That will be 5x. The inside numbers, so I'll be 5x. And if you add together, does it give you a positive 10x? It does. If you notice, the both of them are the same. Therefore, we can rewrite it, them as 1. So we have x plus 5 squared. You also need to give the appropriate name. This will be a perfect square trinomial. So remember to write it down. Perfect square, I'm going to abbreviate it, trinomial. And yes, you do need to give me the name for each one of them on the homework. For letter B, I'm going to go through the same process. I'm going to use my double parenthesis to factor this out. If you notice, this is a square. 49x squared is a square because factors of 49x squared will be 7x and 7x. Factors of negative 16, 16 is also a square. So factors of 16 will be 4 and 4, 1 negative and 1 positive. Because when you multiply together, it has to give you a negative 16. If you multiply together, you should end up with the same. So multiply the outside ones. That gives me a positive 28x. Multiply the inside terms. So it gives you a negative 28x. If you add them together, it should give you a 0. And that's why we don't have a middle term. This will be your answer. 7x minus 4, 7x plus 4. And this is the difference of two squares. The difference of two squares. Now, remember that you need to give me the name on the homework. And do not just do D. 2s. You need to give me this abbreviation or the full name. It's up to you. Let us see. Double parenthesis. If you notice, 100 is a square. x square is also a square. And there's a minus in, in between. Therefore, this will be the difference of two squares. And I'm going to factor it. Factors of x squared will give me x and x. Factors of 100 gives me 10 and 10. 1 negative and 1 positive. 
If I multiply it together, it gives me plus 10x minus 10x. There is no term in the middle, so it's perfect. That works. Letter D. I'm going to factor this out. Factors of 2x squared will give me 2x and x. Now, factors of positive 12. I can use 6 times 2 or 3 times 4. Whenever I multiply, it should give me a negative 11. So let's try 6 and 2. 6 times 2. That's a positive, so they both should have the same sign. They need to add up to a negative number. They both should be negative. Multiply it out. This will give me negative 4x. Multiply the inside terms. That should give me a negative 6x. If I add them together, does it give me negative 11? No. So let's go and switch the 2 over here and the 4. It's basically the same process that we have covered before. Multiply this out gives me a negative 12 minus 2x. Does it give me negative 11? No. Therefore, I'm going to use the 3 and the 4. So let me use the 3 and the 4. I'm going to place my 3 here and my 4 here. Multiply it together, that gives me negative 8x. Multiply it together, that gives me negative 3x. If I add them, does it give me negative 11? Yes. This will be your answer. Now, this will be just a trinomial, a basic trinomial. And remember to give me the name. So let's continue to example number two. On example number two, we're going to go through the same process, but before you start with the double parenthesis, you need to take out the common factor. One number divides 2 and 18. What number can I take out? I can factor out 2, and then what's left? 2 multiplied by what gives me 2x squared will give me x squared. 2 multiplied by what will give me negative 18 will be negative 9. I need to factor this out. So I'm going to leave the outside out. I'm going to ignore the 2 for, the, for now. Double parenthesis. Factors of x squared will give me x and x. Factors of 9 will give me 3 and 3, 1 negative and 1 positive. And don't forget the 2 on the front. So that is the difference of two squares. This will be your answer. So we're going to write down difference of two squares. Let's try letter B. On letter B, we're going to take first the common factor. Take out the common factors. You need to think. One number divides 75, 30, and 3. I'm going to factor IA. 3. What's left? What do you need to multiply 3 to get 25? 75x squared? Correct. 25x squared. What do you need to multiply 3 to get positive 30? It will be positive 30x. What do you need to multiply 3 to get positive 3? It will be positive 1. Now, I'm, a, I'm going to ignore the 3, and I'm going to factor this up. Factors of 25x squared will be give me 5x and 5x. Factors of 1 will give me 1 and 1. This is a positive, so the both should have the same sign. And if so, I have to a positive 10x, so I'll be positive and positive. And I have the 3 outside. Remember, if you multiply together, it should end up with a positive 10x. And that gives me 5x and 5x. Gives me positive 10x, so that works. These two are the same. These two binomials are the same. Therefore, I'm going to write them down as 1. And the 3 will stay outside. This is called a perfect square trinomial. So you can write it down on the left hand side. Perfect square trinomial. And yes, you need to write this down on each problem on the homework. <coughs> Fun, let us see. 
Go through the same process. Go and pause it and see if you can, can do C and D by yourselves. Pause it. Excellent. So one number divides 15, 20, and 75. Right. So five. What's left? What do you need to multiply five to get 15x squared? 3x squared. 5 multiplied by 1 gives me negative 20x, so negative 4x, and 5 multiplied by negative 15 gives me negative 75. From there, I'm going to ignore the 5. I'm going to use my double parenthesis to factor this out. Factors of 3x squared will give me 3x and x. Factors of 15 will be 3 and 5. I need to end up with 4. 1 negative, 1 positive. So I'm going to place my 3 here because that will give me 9. And my 5 here, that gives me 5. So I'm going to make this a negative, 1 negative, 1 positive. If you multiply together, you should end up with a negative 4x, so it's negative 9x, positive 5x, and that gives me negative 4 max. The 5 stays outside. Now, this will be just a trinomial. Larry D, take out a common factor. So one number divides 8 and 50, 2. What do I need to multiply 2 to get 8x squared? It will be 4x squared. And what do I need to multiply 2 to get 50? It will be negative 25. Now I'm going to ignore the 2, and I'm going to factor this out. So at this point, you should be able to recognize that this is a difference of two squares. This is a square, 4x is 4x squared is a square, and 25 is a square. And there's a minus in between. So difference of two squares. Factors of 4x squared will be 2x and 2x. Factors of 25 will be 5 and 5. 1 negative, 1 positive. And the 2 stays outside. Remember, if you multiply it out, you should end up with 0x because there's no middle term. So that gives me positive 10x minus 10x is 0. This is your answer. And we're going to identify this as the difference of two squares. So that concludes the lesson for today. Uh, please email me if you have any questions. And have a great day.